Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, I really don't want to have to resort to one of the uh, Bronx whistles. Uh, I just want to say I appreciate your patience. I know everybody is hungry. Everybody is interested in having our Onik Shabbat ceremony. But today we have two friends of the Riverdale Y. Simon Senior Center join us. I'm going to introduce one of them and then pass the microphone over to Assemblyman Dinowitz, who's going to have, feel free to clap, you should. Um, who is going to introduce a second friend of the Riverdale Y. And just so you know, both members have received invitations to join us for Passover. So hopefully they will also come back. Though they may be in Albany fighting on issues that are very important for us in the budget process. So without further ado, Assemblyman Jeff Thinowitz. Thank you. Actually, we're almost certainly going to be in Albany on April 1st because we're scheduled to be in Albany and we're working on the budget. Um, I'm only going to talk for a second because I want to introduce my colleague. I've worked now for 13 years in the Assembly with Assemblyman Ruben Diaz, Jr. He has worked so hard on so many issues we care about, on senior citizens' issues, on the environment, on education, and he is one of the strongest leaders that we have up in Albany. And the reason why he's here today is because, as you all know, Borough President Carrion recently left us in the Bronx because he was appointed by President Obama to a very important position in Washington. And as a result, there is going to be a special election for Bronx Borough President, and it's going to be on Tuesday, April 21st. It's going to be, a, uh, it's like any other election except it's in April, so it's very important that our community come out big and vote. It's the only thing on the ballot, so it's a type of election where you don't get a lot of voters, but we want to make sure we get a lot of voters out of our district. So I'm hoping you'll all come out that day at your regular polling place. And it's, it's different than most elections because in a special election for borough president, you don't have party label, the, the, the normal party labels. There's no Democratic candidate, there's no Republican candidate. They have to run as uh, independent candidates and they have to make up a party name. And, um, but there is in fact one Democratic candidate running and one Republican running and the Democrat is Assemblyman Diaz. Now, since this is not a political forum, we don't get political here, so we're not gonna talk real politics, but I just wanted to give uh, you an opportunity to hear from Assemblyman Diaz for a few minutes because we're gonna lose him from Albany, and that's a big loss for us, but it's gonna be great for the Bronx when he becomes borough president. So, Assemblyman Ruben Diaz, Jr. Thank you, Shalom, everyone. I just wanna say that, over, like Jeff's Jeff just said, over the last 13 years, we've been colleagues. He's been there a little longer. I've been elected now to the New York State Assembly from the Sound Beach section of the Bronx uh, for 13 years. And I have to let you know that you, you should know that there's no other elected official, no elected official that represents their community on a myriad of different issues as strongly as Jeffrey Dinowitz does. And that's a good and, and like he said, we've been up there, we've been fighting for more funding for education for over a decade. We've been doing well in terms of protecting the budget on health care and health insurance. If you, at some point, I want to come back and I'm going to let you know a little bit of, of my background and, and how my, me and my family have been involved in senior citizen issues since the 1970s, providing services, transportation services, home care services to seniors. I know that I look young, but seniors are still the, the folks that I fight for. And going around today, the amount of, uh, of friendship and love that you've shown me, I don't know if there's a senior person in this room with the strength and the enthusiasm and the energy that you have here today. And I can just promise you one thing, that as we move forward, you will have a friend in Ruben Diaz Jr. I'm so happy. You know, the Bronx is a wonderful place where we all have to start thinking of it as one Bronx. For far too long, many of us have been divided. For far too long, you have one community not knowing what the other community is doing. But we have forged a strong coalition. 
And part of that coalition is Jeffrey Dinowitz, myself, and others, where when we go now to Albany, when we go to Washington and to City Hall, and we speak to them about funding, that we're going to let them know that the Bronx needs to be respected, that Riverdale needs to be respected, that we need all the resources possible. And after the 21st, I'm going to come back here with a different title. And I'm still going to come back here as your friend. And I'm so proud and so happy that I've gotten the support from the Riverdale section of the Bronx, from the north part of the Bronx, and especially in, in public, I just want to say to Jeffrey that you've been a staunch supporter, that you've been a strong ally, and that I'm proud to have you as a friend, and I'm proud to have you as someone as we move forward that will uh, show me and teach me what is it that I need to do in this neck of the woods so that we can make this, the Bronx a stronger and better place. Thank you. Remember, April 21st, April 21st, okay? Okay, everybody enjoy your lunch, shalom, good Shabbos, and uh, we'd love to be here for the Seder, but uh, April 1st, which is a Wednesday, we are scheduled to be in Albany, but we will be thinking about everybody here having a good time, while we're slaving away in Albany trying to get the money for the Bronx. Okay?